hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing of the Committee on Land Use. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. We are ready to begin. All right, good morning. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Chair of the Committee on Land Use, and I am joined today by uh, Council Members. We have Chair Adams, uh, Council Member Gredenchik, Rivera, Deutsch, Ayala, Richards, Chemoya, Barron, Traeger, Kuhl, Lansman, Dia, and Diaz. I want to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our zoning and landmarks subcommittees. Today, we will vote on a number of applications referred out of these subcommittees. But before we begin, I would like to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks today should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. I would like to remind council members and members of the public who are watching that there may be extended pauses if we encounter technical delays. We ask that you please be patient as we try to resolve any technical difficulties that may arise. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda items. <clears throat> thank you, uh, thank you, Council. Today we will vote to approve LU 681, the Landmark Preservation Commission designation of the Manida Street Historic District in my Council District. This residential block in the neighborhood of Hunts Point contains 42 properties that were built between 1908 and 1909 with complete facing rows of intact Renaissance revival style semi-detached houses with a strong historic character and a sense of place. I am very excited about this recognition of the history of the South Bronx. Turning now to applications from our zoning subcommittees, we will vote to file all of the industry city applications, LU 674 through 677, to remove them from our calendar. By letter filed on October 13th, the applicant withdrew these applications. We will also vote to approve LU 658, the 50 old Fulton Street rezoning relating to property in Council Member Levin's district in Brooklyn. The application seeks approval of a zoning map amendment to change an M2-1 to an M1-5 district to facilitate the construction of a five-story commercial office building. The rezoning would increase the maximum FAR for commercial industrial use from two to five and would allow greater flexibility with regard to allowable retail uses. We will also vote to approve LU 682 through 685 for the 1510 Broadway rezoning proposal related to property in council member uh, uh, Alika Ampri Samuels district. The application by the New York City Department of Housing Preservation and Development seeks approval of a, of a set of related land use actions, including an urban development action area project designation and disposition approval. Acquisition of a portion of the development site by the city, a zoning map amendment, and a zoning text amendment to map an MIH area utilizing options one and two. Together, these actions will facilitate the construction of a new eight-story building with approximately 107 units of affordable housing and 9,000 square feet of ground floor commercial space. We will also vote to disapprove LU 680 the uh, three uh, St. Mark's Place special permit application relating to property in Council Member Rivera's district in Manhattan. The application seeks approval of a special permit pursuant to zoning resolution section 74-79 to transfer unused development rights from an individual landmark site across the street and to waive height and setback regulations along a narrow street frontage and to facilitate the construction of a 10 story commercial building located in three St. Mark's Place in the heart of East Village. Council Member Rivera will discuss why approval, why disapproval of this application, why approval of this application is not appropriate. And I would like to turn to her remarks. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for giving me the opportunity to uh, speak briefly on this application. Um, I'm gonna just condense the remarks that I made earlier at the zoning subcommittee on LU680, which is an application for proposed transfer of 8,386 square feet of development rights from the landmark for St. Mark's Place, otherwise known as the Hamilton Holly House to the newly proposed development at three St. Mark's Place. As we vote on this application today, I wanna to be clear about my deep concerns regarding this proposal, not only because it fails to properly address the considerations of the 74-79 permit being sought, but also because the applicant, the applicant did not take the ULIP process seriously, continuously showing an unwillingness to consider the community's request for community space or any sort of community benefit and taking a highly unusual approach to the council's charter mandated public hearing on September 24th. At that hearing, the applicant did not come prepared with any visual presentation, such as project drawings, renderings, or site photos. A first in my three years on the committee. They did not have a zoning attorney or architect present, and they sent only one representative, one who had not been involved in discussions with my office, who was not well versed in our areas of concern, and who was not prepared to discuss how the project met the required special permit findings. Regardless of the applicant's disrespect for the council's role in the land use process, the application itself fails to address significant issues regarding the request for a 74-79 special permit, the first outside of a central business district or adjacent to a residential district. The City Planning Commission, in adopting section 74-79 of the zoning resolution, wrote of a desire to promote architecture that will relate to and enrich the areas around landmark sites and not be detrimental to its surroundings. The proposed building neither relates to nor enriches its surroundings, and in my view, the added bulk on the St. Mark's Place frontage is detrimental. I will close by once again highlighting my profound disappointment in the applicant's unwillingness to address valid concerns or answer questions throughout this process. And I will note that Community Board 3 and the Manhattan Borough President also recommended disapproval of this application. I will be voting to disapprove this application today and I urge my committee colleagues to do the same. Thank you, Mr. Chair, for the time. Thank you, Councilmember Rivera. Um, are there any other members of the committee who uh, wish to speak or give remarks? Um, Council, do you see any one with their hands up? Um, just one moment, Chair. I do not see any hands. Okay. But before I, I move forward, I just want to recognize that we've been joined by Council Member Miller. And uh, we've also been joined by Council Member Steve Levin. So with that, I now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and the local council members to approve LU 658 and LU 681 through 685 and to disapprove LU 680 and to file LU 674 through 677. Will the clerk please call the roll? Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. I don't know. Coo. Roll out, Dave. Oh, I don't know. Thank you. That's what I took out of me. Baron. Okay, so we, we uh, just wait. Just to be clear, this is not addressing 680 as the council member just spoke on. That's this, separate. This, to be clear, the, we are voting to disapprove uh, okay. as per the request of council member Rivera. Thank you. So I vote aye on all with the exception of 670, 678, and 679. Thank you. Deutsch. Aye and all. Thank you. Lanceman. Aye. Thank you. Levin. Aye. Miller. Aye. Thank you. Reynoso. 
I vote I know. Thank you. Richards. Aye. Traeger. I vote aye. Gorenchik. Aye. Adams. I vote aye on all. Thank you. One more. Excuse me, thank you. Ayala. I vote aye. Diaz. Thank you. Moya. I vote aye. Rivera. Aye. Thank you. One moment. All items on today's land use calendar have been adopted by a vote of 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions as indicated on the land use calendar. I'm sorry. Thank you, Council Member Barron. <laughs> um, I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, Council and Lanyu staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for five minutes. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Thanks to the staff.
I'm back. Hi, Council Member Barron. Did you Hi. want to clar clarify your, your vote? Yes, uh, to clarify my vote, I'm voting aye on all with the exception of 670 with the understanding that 678 and 679 were already voted upon previously. Okay, 670 is also not on today's calendar. Okay, so then I'm voting aye on all. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You got it, thank you. Thank you. All right, clerk, um, can you give us the final amount? I am going to close the roll. Sure, all items on today's land use agenda has been adopted by a vote of 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. All right, thank you, um, thank you all the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned, thank you. <laughs>